Cold therapy is great and maintaining water quality is essential. And every time that you get into your barrel, you're bringing a ton of contaminants with you. Whether you're sweaty from the gym or just got out of the sauna, that water over time can start to get pretty funky. You'll start to notice that it'll get cloudy and left untreated, it'll start to smell really bad and then eventually algae will start to grow and it's downright gross. So how do we keep it treated? How do we keep it as clean and clear as possible? Well, there are a lot of treatments out there on the market and we think that our Stabilize is one of the best treatments for cold therapy specifically. This product is designed to work best in cold water and there are a lot of other products out there that do not work in cold water at all. So how does this magic formula Stabilize that's non-toxic actually work? Well, there's two parts. There is a copper ion and a silver ion and they team up and do some magic in the water. The copper ion actually disrupts the membrane of the cells, causing bacteria and algae to not even be able to form. And then the silver ion goes into the DNA level of those cells and makes it so that they can't reproduce. All right, all right, thanks for the science lesson, but how much of this do I add? How often do I add it? Let me give you a simple protocol that you can use no matter which ice barrel you have based on daily use of taking an ice bath. So on the top of the stabilize, there's this amazing little measuring device called a cap. And that actually equals roughly a quarter ounce. So when you first fill up your ice barrel, you're gonna add two capfuls, half an ounce. And then weekly, you're going to add a quarter ounce or one capful to your ice barrel. Now, if you notice that your water's starting to get cloudy, then you're gonna wanna increase that dosage a little bit each time until that cloudiness starts to subside. So you have a chiller, which means you have a filter, which might lead you to believe that you don't need to do anything to treat your water. Well, a filter is only the second line of defense in keeping your water clean. The water stabilizer actually does all the work to keep those microorganisms from blooming. If you don't keep it controlled, it will start to clog the water filter. And if you don't use any treatment, the water filter could clog in as little as one to two weeks. If you want to keep your water filter from looking like this bad boy, you're going to need something to treat the water. And using the same protocol that we've already given will work perfectly for keeping that water clean. Again, if you start to see that water blooming, your usage might be more than the average. Just start upping the dosage of Stabilize until you see the water starting to clear up. And for filter users out there, you might find that you can go about a week before really needing to clean it with heavy usage. And all you have to do is spray it off with a hose, which will give you about a three to four week lifespan out of your filter if you're using Stabilize. If you're not, you might only get about two weeks out of your water filter. Finally, there are a few other things you can do to maintain optimal water quality. That starts with changing out the water in your barrel. You wanna do that every six to eight weeks at least. When you go to do that, you wanna make sure that you're using a good soap that is safe for your barrel. You're using a brush and scrubbing down all the parts inside the barrel. And then you're starting with the freshest water possible by refilling it with a carbon hose filter. And then obviously the protocol that we gave you for Stabilize, starting off with a half ounce in the water. And then let's not forget, in between each session, making sure that you're capturing all those little floaties in the water. That'll make sure that you're maintaining the best water possible.